All right, so all you K20 Pro users out there, Abik Saroji Edition has come with a new update for their ROM and it is known as MIUI 12.5.6 Enhanced Edition and it is called Stable. Now, recently a lot of my testers have been trying this. The feedback is really, really good. And the best way to install this particular ROM is using the F2FS data partition system, which gives you a little edge over the EXT4 partition. So in today's video, we're going to see a quick step-by-step -step guide of how to go ahead and install this particular ROM the right way. Now, I will give you all the disclaimer post the intro but before we get into the details if you haven't already well please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because hey it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel and if you like chatting with like-minded people well join us on telegram we have more than 12 to 1300 people with similar devices there you can also follow us on instagram twitter facebook so without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going All right, now, of course, this is the Mi 11X. This is the K20 Pro. I don't have Telegram installed and y'all don't need to know that. Anyways, let's look at the changelog here. Abik's ROG Edition version 12.5.6.0 stable. Official maintainer is I am on fire. Android 11, ROM based on China mod global stable 12.5.6 enhanced edition, right? Now, released only for the K20 Pro, which is also known as the Raphile and Raphile in. Now, as far as the changelog is concerned, it says removed unnecessary applications, added performance mode toggle. Remember the one which is there in the battery section. I really hope it works because it makes a difference. October security update, Harman Kardon audio. Now, this is something really different. Harman Kardon is a big name and if they've got that audio on this particular device, probably in the complete review, I'll, I'll test it for you guys and I'll cover it. And 4GB swap memory, what this means is you might have more free RAM, which is good. Added ROG advanced startup menu, added music player on notification panel, F2FS supported, need F2FS patch. Now trust me, this is the second time I'm shooting this video today because in the morning I shot the video twice or thrice and it failed every time to boot. Now I've finally got the formula right of how to go about flashing it and you need to follow this video step by step, okay? now. It says, don't review or judge after flashing the ROM, let the ROM settle down. So what I've heard is, once you flash this ROM, you have to let it settle for two to three charge cycles, which is at least two to three days, use the ROM, and then you will understand the fluency of this ROM. I've seen many testers in my group saying that as well, so believe them. Use Marisa kernel if you want screen overclock, use this recovery to flash the ROM. And if super wallpaper does not work, install it manually. There's the install link. You can go ahead and support them the way you want to. Now we will quickly switch from the Mi 11X to the Redmi K20 Pro. All right, so what you're looking at right now is the Redmi K20 Pro running a big ROG 12.5.6, but that's not the point over here. We have to take care of a few things and I'll also list the files that are needed. All the files are linked in the description on their respective download links. You can download from there. Now the first thing that you need to ensure is of course you have an unlocked bootloader. You have the recommended recovery that is a recommended Orange Fox recovery installed. You need to make sure that each and every point of data on your phone is backed up because remember everything is going to be erased your phone should have more than 50 percent battery in the settings menu you need to remove all your google account mi account your screen lock like fingerprint face unlock pattern pin and then reboot the device once now once you've taken care of all of these things you will need a certain amount of files that you need to flash now considering the recovery as well i'll tell you the list of files that we will need so over here let's actually go to the usb storage and you will see you need the ROM, of course. You need the F2FS patch, right? Now, along with this, you will also need the Orange Fox recovery and you will need the DFE, which is specially made for the F2FS file system. Now, once you have all these files, we will follow the installation process, right? So the first thing that we will do is we will go to reboot. Okay, so press and hold volume up and power, okay? Now we are in Orange Fox recovery. So to tell you the truth, we are already on that particular recovery, which is recommended, right? So you need to be sure that you are on the recovery that the Abix team is recommending. All right, now we will start the sequence of flashing, right? So the first thing that we need to do is go to wipe, Dalvik cache system vendor data internal storage. Now, before I go ahead with the wipe, I don't have the files on the phone. You see this cable? I have the files on a USB pen drive along with a OTG cable connected to the computer. So in case you have the files on your phone's internal memory, it'll be a good idea to move it to a computer or a OTG cable. And then maybe once you're done wiping and stuff, you can go ahead and copy them back to the phone's memory and flash it from there, 
right? So Dalvi cache system vendor data internal storage swipe to wipe. You're wiping all the partitions. All right, so once you've wiped everything, you need to go to the main menu, go to this menu over here, go to manage partitions, select this data partition and select the tick mark. Now select change file system. Over here, we will select F2FS, swipe to change. That's it. Your partition is now changed to F2FS and we can proceed with the remaining step. Okay, now we need to go to the location of the files. The first thing that we will flash is the F2FS patch. So F2FS patch. Okay, now we will flash the ROM. So a big ROG edition, swipe to confirm flash. Now this is a three gigabyte ROM, so it'll take its own sweet time to flash. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now, as you can see over here, the ROM has flashed. Now the next file that we need to flash is F2FS DFE. So let's look for that file. Android 11 DFE F2FS only, select this, swipe to confirm flash. Now what this also mean is you will be staying decrypted, you like it or not, that is the only way I was able to get this to boot. Now we are done flashing everything, let's go ahead and reboot. And the moment you see the Abix ROG logo, like once or twice, you can go ahead and do a force reboot. That means you'll long press the power button to allow it to reboot. And then you'll have to wait for about five to 10 minutes for it to complete the first boot. Now, as you can see over here, we already have the Abix ROG logo. So we will press and hold the power button. Okay, now we have the Redmi logo. So now the wait begins for the first boot to happen. Now let's wait patiently. I'm gonna actually put a star stopwatch on this. Let's see how much time it takes to boot. All right, now, as you can see, the time here is three minutes and 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and stop the timer here. So if you follow the steps correctly, you actually boot into Abix ROG edition. I'm quickly going to skip the setup part and I'll show you that we are on Abix edition, the latest one with F2FS. All right, so just like that, we have booted to the home screen. Let's go to settings over here. And as you can see, Abix ROG info, this is MIUI 12.5.6 enhanced edition by Omi. So yes, this is the quick step-by-step -step guide of installing Abix ROG latest enhanced stable edition with F2FS file system, smooth and fluid performance. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, see you in the next one.